All right. I'm sitting here with John, and John just finished training. John is a, a angel from XPW, and I'm sitting here with Mongo, Mongo Santino. And uh, John is just sitting here in the office, and he just finished training, and uh, he, he trains here on Sundays. And um, we just got to talking, and Mongo says, man, we should record this. So we decided to... Uh, just uh, turn the turn the, uh, the the camera on and just record it. So we're sitting here with John Chavez. What? what? <laughs> Put me on the spot, which I don't mind, but. Well, I just want to get you a little. Hey, Mongo's, but Mongo's a better host at this stuff, though. So go ahead and uh, get Wait, it going. All right, John. John's a product of uh, Slammers Wrestling Federation. Uh, we're here at MIT. And uh, I'm a product of uh, Slammers Wrestling Federation. And John. Slammers. What do you feel Slammers gave you? Uh, well, for those that don't know about Slammers, I'm sure it'd be just me and you and uh, Gabriel were the last of the bunch that were there. Uh, Slammers was really old school. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about old school, where you trained in... Vern Langdon made you, you when you called, you had to get the videos, and I don't I think you guys got that now too from him, right, where you got the videos? Or yeah, the videos. man, mostly everything we do at Santino Brothers is because we got at, uh, we got from, from what Vern, Vern did at Slammers. Um, I mean, Mongo had the, the booklet, and we kind of just, that was our, that was our, our reference. Foundation. That was our reference to do the website, really, Correct. was, was, was Vern's book. Um, Slammers was really old school, like, if I mentioned that, it was old school, where you trained, like, guys who would probably train in the, um, 40s or 50s, I mean, you came in there with uh, some trunks or speedos, whatever you want to call them, you know, knee pads, and that was it. Mind you, that right there is play psychology with you because for a fact, up until that point, I was one of those types of guys that never liked taking my shirt off. And oh, think, hey, so in the gym you would fucking do the uh, the, the switch shirts you, you, at the same would, time? Yeah, yeah. You'd be that guy? I'd be that guy. Oh, I hate oh. those guys. But I see, hated those guys, dude. You know what? It breaks you. It breaks you. I think there's everybody here takes everything. So, so what did serious. you do? You, you just took your shirt off, like fuck it. No, it was just it was the fact that you're in something you're not comfortable with, you know, and it you get hey, used hey, to hey, it. Hey, hey, I don't know how you guys did it in the speedos. I had a hard time with that. And that was, was tough. Dude. It was like, tough too because I remember putting on speedos and Vern saying, "You know, you're you're gonna have to shave. You have kind of patches on your calves." So like, you were you had to shave in the bathroom at Slammers? No, the next time I came oh. over, I had to shave. Uh, that and, wasn't the only. And then no shoes. And no shoes. And the reason. But what if you had? What if you had wrestling shoes or boots? Could you wear them? Nope. No, you I had to so. earn them. Yeah. Ooh. And the reason was here's here like we were saying earlier before this camera came on. I was telling you. Uh, hey, the Mongo camera's not even here. The camera's not know, even here. But, Just talk, John. But what we were saying earlier was, I understand now why they did a lot of stuff they did, and it's like that whole thing when you're a parent and you you're, you're telling your kid. You're not going to know what it's like until you have kids of your own. Now I know what it's like. Because... What do you mean? Now that you have students of your own? No, now that I've been in this business for, what, close to 17 years? Fuck. It's a family show, no cousin. Yeah, I know. Come on. What do you think? Is this Lucha Girls? Yeah. Um, uh, If you were ever... And this is how brought it up. What if you were ever on a trip and you had to go, you know... To the East Coast or whatever, they lost your luggage, and obviously you shouldn't keep your boots in your your uh, luggage you keep under the plane. But what if they lost it? Well, you can always go to a Big Five or a Sports Chalet, pick up a pair of speedos and knee pads. But if you're not re used to wrestling barefooted, then that's going to screw with your head. We were used to wrestling barefooted. Did you guys climb the ropes barefooted? Yes, yeah. we did. Oh. Did you guys bitch about it or just did it? You yeah. just did it back yeah, then. You, 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 had, you, couldn't, you, you couldn't be like, oh, that hurt, you know? You'll get your ass whipped. Yes, it was a very, it was old school, I mean. I really wish I went to Slammers or, or even any wrestling school. You didn't, they didn't teach you right away either. I mean, remember, and they would stretch you. Yeah, I did oh grappling for like God. six weeks before I did pro wrestling. And just, just strong grappling? Just Like what, pin you or submission? Submission. Submission. And wait, 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 wait. What did they teach you? Did they teach you any submission? Well, you kind of pick up to protect. No, no, no. Head. I know what you picked up. Did they show you anything or no? Oh, yeah, they would teach yeah. you. Oh, okay. Oh, I would just think maybe they just throw you in there to the wolves. All right, well, fucker. Kind of, like you see where you're at. Just get your ace away. That's always the first thing I tell the students. Um, what another do you... thing was also that ring. Till this day, other than Mexico, that ring was probably one of the stiffest. What happened to that ring? It was probably put in that storage and then probably taken or. 
Toro Bravo. Storage had storage had drawers. Or, I would yeah, rather. Did that remember they found all those eight by tens and so Yeah. Them? I would no, rather Amazon. bump. And you know what? Those who've seen me know why I'm crazy. It's because I'm fucking crazy of things like that. I would rather bump on a hard floor than that ring because that ring was stiff as hell, wasn't it? Well, they said it, the finisher for that ring back in the day was like a clothesline. Yeah. Or a back bot, like a side suplex. Oh, but that's that's like, if you did a side suplex, you were, was, you're, you're wrestling stupid. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, other than Mexico, I think, which probably has the worst ones because they were, were boxing rings, this was very, very stiff. I think there was, anybody that ever knows about a wrestling ring, it's got, you know, good sized padding. This one had carpet foam, I think, is padding. Yeah. Just carpet. But really? the fact that Did you guys ever break it down? Nope. No. Never told Never? Us. Did Never you told ever us. see that room without the ring in there? Nope. No. Been under the ring. Well, was it clean? Those rings, yeah. Those rings didn't break though either too. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about these rings nowadays, but those what rings. What are you talking about? Our ring doesn't break, John. What were you referring rings. to? I remember XPW ring broke a lot. Oh yeah, well that was a boat. That was, a <laughs> that was an old boat, dude. Uh, and That's the true. ropes were loose. But you know what, dude? You have to maintain your ring. I believe yeah, you. Do. You have to maintain your fucking ring. And, I, and your canvas, like everything, right uh, down. Because you know, uh, you get sweat. You get a. Uh, I've never encountered so stuff. much dirt on a can. I never worried about it. The canvases that we used to wrestle on, John, were taped up. I don't even want to say. Probably come done. Probably. You know what I'm saying? I'm. I'm be real. They were, you, and they and 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 who the hell was wrestling them? Because you know they had those girls wrestling them, so they were some nasty shit, dude. Well, we're and now, uh, hey, the the first time like I put a tape on the we have we've had tape on our canvas for like a month, and I feel like that's that's like too that's much. yeah that's low life shit, dude. I feel like man, so I, we bought two 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 new canvases already because I was like I can't take it anymore. But I remember we used to wrestle on tape top canvases. Yeah, you didn't care. Dirty. About yeah, you didn't give a fuck. You but caught you caught staff. Oh, it's like oh. Well, oh no! Fuck that. Nowadays, I mean. Uh, no, that's a that's why we changed the cameras here at Santino <laughs> Brothers. Uh, like, I mean, it, that's why we clean them. Did you yeah, guys have to clean up after? Yeah, oh hell yeah! Yeah, we, we did have to clean up. It was old school. I mean, they they made you respect. Like what kind of cleaning? What kind of cleaning so, are we talking so, about? Someone had to sweep the ring, and someone had to vacuum the ring. Vacuum the ring. Someone we had, had to wipe down the chairs and sweep the floor. Like everything was clean. Wipe down the chairs with what? The towel. towel. Just, okay. Yeah. I mean, this Even if somebody didn't sit in it? Yeah, because it would get a little dust. A little dust part. Dust. Uh, fuck. That's, you know what? Because we got dust. We got dust in the dojo. And there was just three of us, so yeah. it took a while. But that was part of the whole thing. It was old school. I mean, even the ropes were loose. You would hear... You would have to loosen the ropes? Or you know never... They were just loose. And the worst part was when they first... Remember when they started teaching us how to go chest first into those? Right. It took oh, two yeah. or three years for my scars from these like your burn scars marks on your bicep, on yeah. my biceps. And the move I'm trying to convince is go chest first. With, remember how we used to take the move all the time? Yeah. Go chest first, sternum first. With BC Killer is the only other guy that can do. I it. actually like that move. BC if Killer does it really good. The ropes are tight. It's fine. The ropes are loose. Ooh, they burn you like crazy. Really? Yeah. Yes. It took about three years for those yeah, burn marks. To I'm gonna say I did that move once, and it it did exactly that. It burned the shit out of my bicep. And, he said, Fuck and I'm never done it again. And, and I'm never, I see BC doing it, and I'm like, oh! I give him all the respect because I'm like, that shit hurts. It you, does. You hear the clank? It made you do it again and again. Well, yeah, you had to get that. Very clear. Bret Hart. It was man. that sadistic. Mongo does it did too. <laughs> I fuck that. But you know what? It's the suffering we do for our art. Eight now you got what color was the canvas? White. Was it? I can't remember. Yeah, it was white. So that's how did why, it that's filthy? Why, that's why we had white soles. No you barefoot. Could, oh no, yeah. barefoot. Yeah. But when we got boots, the soles had to be white to be black soles. Well, going back to the steel thing, it, right? It, it, yeah. it did it do something to you? What I what I what, what I got out of Slammer is the most important thing I felt I got out of there was being how to be a professional. Yes. Because I felt like I was a street kid, uh, just. Uh, just trying to figure out what I want to do in life. And when I got there, it showed me how to be on time, you know, how to be professional, shut your mouth, do what the trainers tell you, discipline, uh, confidence in within my body, like doing certain stuff. And Who are your trainers? My trainers were Ombre de Oro. Carlos Torres, is old name. Carlos Torres, uh, Movie Star Mike. I uh, had Ed Forever with me for a little bit. I never, I didn't uh, have Ed, and those don't know. Billy had a little bit. I didn't have Billy either. And now Bird was there. So how much longer were you there than him? I think like six or seven months, right? That's so it. I signed up in November. I signed up my first day ever wrestling with Vern in that ring. Now I just mentioned the kid I was training today. First day was the day after Thanksgiving, nineteen ninety eight. 
Black, Black Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. Did you have a sale? No. How much was it? Uh, I think it was twenty five dollars a session. Yeah. Just straight up? No, no you had down. To pay, you had to pay under fifty for bucks. the videos. Yeah, for the videos. Yeah, you had to pay for the videos. And fifteen bucks at info pack. The um. So one hundred sixty five dollars. Yeah. Was this down payment? Mm. And you, it, I think what happened with us was like, it became. Now, mind you, you guys, we know wrestling. And I hate saying it, but it's. Because it's I'm wrestling. old school. It's, it's old school like this. That's why you gotta say, Johnny. I wrestling. hate breaking kayfabe, but it's, it's not. It's, it's not all that real. It's staged, and I get a dirty taste on my face. What, what do you mean? Because hey, you're I, too I, old school, bro. Here's the thing. As Angel, as hey, Angel, I don't, I don't, Angel, hey, I don't know I refuse, you do over there. I refuse to put anything up as John if I don't have to as Angel because I still believe in a little bit of kayfabe. Hey, don't, what are you talking about? Kayfabe is alive and well. It is. If they're, if they're, I believe it could be still. It is if you don't discuss it. It is. Hey, so it anyways. is. Just shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think what made us different was this. What made it real for us, though, was the fact that if you did something, I wanted to do it better and prove you that I was a little bit more tougher than you. And I think that's what Simers made us do. It made us a little tougher, right? If I got punched a certain way or hit a certain way, I would hit you harder. Oh, yeah. I would say definitely got tougher being a Slammers. I, I had the mentality going into Slammers, like, okay, I did a little bit of boxing. So I was like, oh, I could take some punches. I played football. So I was like, I'm pretty tough. Obviously, you know, you get a couple fights in the street. You're like, fuck, <coughs> I'm a street fighter. But then you go with professionals and they're over there just whipping your ass. And it's like, dude, technique over anything else. It was like, you don't stand a chance. And then you feel like, man, I got to learn this stuff because I thought I was badass and fighting these guys, I'm nothing. So definitely pushes you to get better and like your get body, better your skills. Your no, body no. will get used to the abuse. Oh, I mean, yeah. Let me ask you this, knowing now, because like here's what I, what I tell guys now. You guys tell me if, if you agree or not. I say you could hit people, and, and this is what Real and Regal said, you could hit people and uh, you could hit people really hard in really safe places. Yes, now, yes, and that's okay, what it is. But let me ask you this. Here's the question. Knowing what you know now, in your training at Slammers, was anyone trying to take extra liberties on you guys? Like Absolutely trying to hurt not. you bad? Because no. like, there's, there's clubbing you to the back, and then there's kicking you in the face. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Absolutely not. Mind you, we got kicked in the back, you felt your soul come oh, out. Oh, I said kicking the teeth. Bit. Yeah, fuck yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, they were safe. They did not ever once go out there and try to physically break your back or everything like that. They come very close to it, but it was Unless awesome. you're fantastico. Hey, well, what Mongo says, you just said they came very close to breaking your back. But what Mongo said, Mongo, if anyone doesn't know, Mongo had heart surgery and says, I thought I knew pain. And what was the 9 and 10? Shit, that shit was a 6 and a 5, right? Right. So, so they weren't trying to break your back, huh? No. No, no yeah. Fuck, it's, no. it's not. It's that... I mean, everything about it was very, like I said, old school. In old school, those guys were tough. Those guys can go into a bar and get drunk, and if somebody picked a fight, you had to fight back, right? Mm -hmm. You had to be tough, and that's the way but we that was trained. That was, what, what year was this? 98, 99. 98. I'll give you a perfect example. Remember the first time you ever went to a wrestling show? When you, I think all of you were allowed to do it, right? Right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. You weren't allowed? No, we weren't. Uh, until you, once again... You got your permission from your trainer first. I got permission from a trainer, but not 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 Vern, the, not Vern which is Vern's the owner. Um, you went hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! We can't just run that over. How did you feel about that? Did you feel like I'm doing something bad? But like, like Carlos was giving me the okay or what? Hey, told me to do it. So you feel it's cool, and he's he's hey, he's gonna get mad at Carlos, right? My <laughs> problem. Hey, I feel you. I would have just probably I, took it and said I did. I didn't know. I just want to wrestle, it's, right? It's prison rules: snitches get stitches. Yeah. See. You don't. You don't. If you just take it. If they came to you, you don't snitch on your trainer. Yeah, you just take it. Because you know he's gonna come back and be like, "Oh, you snitched." No, on yeah, me? fuck no. You take it. You take it. Yeah. Uh, all right, all right, all right. So you took this booking. Okay. Um, who was, I remember the card was like, Terry Funk was on it, uh, Terry, yeah, Terry Funk. um, what do you think of like, Volkov, I think the Iron Sheik too, right? Yeah, Iron Sheik. And, so, we get there early, and this is our first, this is my first time ever going to an indie show, was it your first time? Yeah. It was? Yeah. Did you know about indie shows before that? Yeah, I knew about indie shows. I didn't. Really? How come yeah. you didn't go to them? Um, uh, I didn't really know about them that much, I didn't, back then, internet was like, Brand new. I oh, indie shows them. around you. You didn't, you didn't know. Oh, yeah, that. you can. I didn't know where. To you find didn't think. Them. What about Slammers? Were they running any any kind of shows? Not that, that you were that, on, that but underground. Time, no. It was underground. Like you were passing out flyers. We had to make sure like it was 
So you guys were on the shows. Yeah, we were on the shows. But so anyway, she gets. Let's go back to the story on this. Okay, point. but I just want to say. Okay, so you just did Slammers, and then this was your first Cindy show. And we're still technically training the Slammers. Yeah. So okay. So and Mongo's about to get kicked out. Uh, he goes to the show, and you think you ask who was the guy? Remember his name? The promoter. Do you remember? Oh, anybody? Junior. Junior. So you ask Junior, hey, is it okay if me and uh, my friend John here get in the ring? Just you know, just you know, we're going to wrestling training, and we just want to do some stuff. And he goes, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. And I remember there was a good amount. Of, anybody who's been in the show knows the guys get there a little early. You know, they hang around, whatever, they're talking. I remember me and you get in the ring. And we didn't do anything spectacular. We just did what we did in Slammers. And in Slammers, it was stiff. It was snug. It was to the degree as real as you can get. And I remember after me and you did our little thing, we didn't think anything of it. We just were focusing on each other. And I don't know how long the match lasted, but I remember after we stopped, we, we break up, whatever, we're like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And everybody's just staring at us. Like, because MMA was starting to barely get, like, taken off a little bit back then, so they weren't sure what they just saw right now. Right. They were sure they saw a shoot. <laughs> and I remember we looked at each other like, what do we do? And then we tell our, you know, we go back the next week and we tell Carlos, and Carlos goes, you guys understand what you guys did, right? He goes, we go, no, we just did what you were always doing here. He goes, you guys are showing off. I go, how are we showing off? We didn't do anything that we didn't normally do in here. He's like, you got to understand, what we do here is not something they're used to anymore. They don't, you're, they're not used to seeing that style where when he would punch me, he really punched me. It was just safe. And when he would kick me in the back, you would hear the <gasps> from the people because they're not sure if they're going to see a legit fight starting to happen. Right. But to us, that's how we were trained. That's how we, we knew nothing else. We didn't know that you're not supposed to really do that. But to us, we were so used to it, we didn't feel we were showing off. And he says, please don't ever do that again. It's like a little hidden secret that they wanted to keep secret. Well, it's kayfabe. It was kayfabe. And that was like one of my biggest things, <coughs> going to other places, uh, is like learning how to work a little lighter. Yeah, that, that was one But thing. you didn't know how to work, you had to learn on your own, right? Working lighter, yeah. Yes. You had to learn, I mean, I'll give you an example too, when I, when I was doing a... Well, who did you wrestle that night? Oh, well, that night I wrestled my chicken nook, your life woke up. So but remember, so they're old you, school. Did, yeah. So they you brought it to them or what? Huh? You brought it to them? Oh no, no, you just you just work, man. Yeah, you let the old veterans like lead the way. <laughs> um but I mean I'll give you an example too, is uh, the when I was doing a series with Supreme back in the Philadelphia days in XPW, I remember the next my next opponent was like Chris Hamrick. And uh, uh first thing I do is I, I lock up and I punch him and I hear him go, Damn and I punch him again, damn Angel, stop it. And I punch him again. Stop it, motherfucker. <laughs> He's telling me this when I'm wrestling. And he goes in the back and he says, what the hell are you doing so stiff? And to me, it's just me. I'm, right. it's, and I get this too when I do, when I do Mavoom. They always say, I always know whoever I punch first is going to get the stiff one because I have to gauge it. <laughs> oh. You're the, the guy, the second guy to get punched. Because to me, I need to feel it sometimes. You know? Oh, that's the truth. I, I I love feeling like I've been in a pro wrestling match. I love getting roughed up. Oh yeah, I do. It you if you don't feel sore the next day, you, what's he used to doing it to me? I think it's like, and then now I'm old school. I guess now. Okay, so this is different. why we brought up this conversation, because I had told John. I had said he goes, oh, I'm a show guy, and 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 all you got to be is a show guy. And I said, but don't you. Don't you don't you cherish that you know how to kick ass and you know how to wrestle and you can out wrestle a lot of dudes because they just see you as Dirty Sanchez or 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 or, or as as Angel and, and and they don't know that John Chavez went to John Chavez went to went to uh, Slammers Wrestling School and paid his dues and can work man you know what I mean and you just said you just said that's how you take care of yourself man you do you just okay and I know a lot of people and I and I'll do this and I always tell people. Whenever I used to train back in the day, when I tell these guys, don't blow your whole load. I think you have to hold stuff back. And so you know I can wrestle. 
You see yeah. it. But I don't need to do it. I think my character doesn't need to do it. No, your actions. character does not. But I'm just saying, when you're in there... If the shit ever went yeah, down... Yeah, when you, you gotta fucking... Yourself. Yeah, when you gotta show everybody what's up, dude. All of a sudden, Dirty Sanchez is in there fucking going toe-to-toe like no one ever thought he could. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. But I don't need to do it, so that's why I won't do it. It's not... And if I ever, ever, ever... I'm gonna have beat to your ass, dude. If I ever have to pull it out... It'll be something that nobody's seen for 17 years. Because I've been kayfaming it for that long. What are you I have not, when have I really, really done catch style? The, other than training. When I got you an ankle lock one time. Other than training in a show, do you ever see me do... No, no. But I could do it. That's what I'm saying. Would you ra- Okay, that's what I was saying. Would you rather just be a show guy that can't do it? And I said, hell no, you would ra- you'd rather know how to do it and not use it for 17 years, but know how to fucking use it, right? The guy I was training today, one thing Fuck I told him, angel. I go, one thing I told him, I go, listen, I could teach you every move in the book, but by the time I teach it to you, there's probably going to be 17 new moves that have been invented. No one invents moves these days, dude. They innovate. Very few. They innovate. Them, Very right? few. Very few people invent new moves these days. I said, pick out what you want to do and make it the best of it. Figure a way that makes it look so good that you have such pizzazz, something that people are going to be like, wow. I mean, I give an example. He wants to be a high flyer. I go, look at an example of, of Macho Man, Randy Savage. Everybody else could jump up to the ropes. Macho Man, when he got to the ropes, he was trying to catch his balance. He could have just stood there and just tried to catch his balance. No, he had a little bit to it. He put his hands up in the air, put the pinky up, did the old swirl, then jumped off. And till this day, people want to copy it because it's something that he made his own. Moves you can make your own if you just focus on that and be like, I want to focus on this, this, this. Even though I could wrestle, but I want to make it my own. Oh, when I do the Bronco Buster, I could do it just like X Pac, but I want to make it my own. I want to do the old pull the pants down. Put oh, you're a sicko, there, yeah, you know, on, but, yeah. but see what I'm saying? I want to make people react to it, and every time I do it, I do make them react. But then there's the also that me and Mongo just like to wrestle. I like to wrestle, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just like to wrestle, man. Why are you going to fucking, why are you going to uh, hold that against know. us? I love a good, and that's the thing, I love a good scientific wrestling match. I can watch guys like Dean Malenko and, and... Eddie Guerrero go at it, and, and, and all these other guys, guys not even supposed to mention because of what things they've done. Why can't you mention them? Well, I don't mention them, but you always get mad whenever I mention them. I never get mad at you, fool. What are you <laughs> talking about? Uh, but I, I can watch things like that all the time because scientifically, I love the style of wrestling. But I love, I think, a lot of different styles. I mean, I know a lot of fans sometimes don't care much for the deathmatch style, but yet I still love it if it's done right. If it's really truly done, it's a work of art. I agree. I mean, so it's just going out there and saying, what am I trying? Stop focusing on the spot of what I'm trying to do over wrestling. Like, what's my biggest spot I want to chew because it's going to look cool? I'm more focus on what I want to portray in that match. What I want that crowd, what is it that I want that crowd to react to? Is it maybe I cower out because I'm a coward? Is it maybe because he's chasing after me when I come back in, I crush myself in the ropes? I think that's what's lost nowadays. We so focus so much on the Just learning moves 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 moves, 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 moves. We forget about why are we doing the moves. Telling the story. Selling. 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 Kid. You could. You could. I'll be honest. I was in that match with uh, with B Boy uh, that got match of the year. Um, and, uh, it was the AWS one. And after the match, I'll be honest, dude, I hated that fucking match. Now I don't even know if I still like it, but everyone seemed to like it. And it actually taught me something was to just really, like, I thought I was slowing down. And it taught me to slow the fuck down. Yeah, like, slow you know what guys. I mean? And I would sit there and I'd be like, God damn, people, we get up already, dude. And, you know, he's selling. You know what I mean? Yeah, remember, uh, we used to... We used to kind of, we used to kind of make fun of Sam when he would always tell, "Slow it down, kids, slow it down." But you didn't realize, like, no, Sam, I want to go, I want to show what I can do here. Yeah. But now it's like I understand why he was doing that. He was letting the crowd react to it. And and what Mongo always says, why does uh, why did uh, why did Hulk Hogan, not Hulk Hogan, uh, Jay Leno, 
Jay Leno holds Hulk Hogan in that uh, in that arm ringer for like what is it like three minutes, yeah. right? For three minutes, it's because they can get the perfect shot. You know but, what I mean? But, yeah, it's like now it's like guys are like, well, I want to do my other. I want to continue doing my spot where it's like, it's cool, but where is the part where it's? Remember, wrestling is the entertainment sport. Entertainment. We, I love the sport. I also love the entertainment. If I figure I can't do something, like you said, what if somebody gets you in a mood that, that, that you can't get out of? Yeah, because you're just a show guy. If I'm a show guy, I don't freak out. I just react, what, what can I do to make me... If I can't figure we out... That's the it, Slammers training talking, bro. We're talking to a dude that's just a show guy, bro. I love being a show guy. <laughs> I love being a show guy. But you're forever going to be changed because you're a show guy that came from Slammers. You can't take that away, bro. Yeah, you're a hooker. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you are, bro. I, I, but, you can wrestle in everything. Yeah, and then, and, then, and then you took your shit and went to, to XPW and deathmatched that shit up. So it's like, hey, no one wants to fuck with you. I always get... I always and get then you got to try to pretend you're Dirty Sanchez. I'm just an easy-go-lucky guy. They got to fuck you up, man. Um... Uh, Probably got a knife in his boot. <laughs> I uh wiping his ass. The everyone's all happy and fun. No, dude, that guy will kill you. I've been well, in many it, wars it, with it that goes, guy. It goes back to that mentality <laughs> how we train. If I was put in a position, I am going to do everything I can. It's the old school where if somebody gives you something, you're gonna prove. Okay, you always say dirty Sanchez. You know, dirty Sanchez was. I think Dirty Sanchez was never supposed to uh, really be bigger than he was. Like he's a one-time guy. It was gonna be like a one or two time thing. But I was like, if, if I'm gonna do this character, and I know that I probably am gonna only do this character from now on. I'm not gonna do Angel anymore at at, at a Baboon show. Well, I'm gonna make it as big as I can. So it's a 21 and over crowd. What could I do? And I always question everything. So they didn't tell you to wipe your ass? No, I, I came up with that. So In fact, what, I think if I remember correctly, well, they gave you the name though. They gave me the name. They gave me the the gear. Uh, I came up with the white shirt because I wanted to show. Once again, it's like, well, how am I going to show my? Uh, I shit myself because I'm brown, obviously. Well, maybe I'll wear a white beater, you know, wipe my ass with it, you know. I question every single thing I do. If I'm thinking, well, what could I do to tear? What would make it different? And I guess it's years of me doing it that I can react so quickly on it. If I get you in a corner and I'm a heel, I can think of five different things to make me a heel. Instead of just letting you go and be like, yeah, you know, I'm going to That's because you're a badass Slammers fucking wrestler. Because I'm wrong, though, am I right? That's what it is. It's what it is. Hey, quit trying to put yourself over. Slammers fucking trained you, bro. I, hey, I keep saying it was Slammers. I no, you're, hey, no, Angel John's great, man. He is. He's, he's great when he comes by. What are you talking about? He's been very successful since he started. No, yeah. He has. He has not stopped. He's just low key. He doesn't Ooh. fucking tell nobody what he does. <laughs> that's the that's my my uh, gimmick or what? That's my Achilles heel because a wrestler should be a little. They should be. Oh should be, well, no. I think we could still talk like this, but still. No, but I'm UK saying face. Achilles heel should be like my thing is. I'm not one to put myself over. I think wrestling, you have to put yourself like you have to. You have to. Be out there and not care what people see and, and do what they say, you know. I'm one, like, that's humble. And you can't be like that in wrestling because some of the guys who made the most money, who were the best, knew, knew that they were good. And, and, and maybe in the back of their head there was that little confidence they were, they were hiding. But they didn't care. They let the I, ego, I, they I let agree. The ego show. I agree 100%, like... Like, I even asked um, Brian Kendrick, I said, like, we all like Shawn Michaels, because he was trained by Shawn Michaels. We all like Shawn Michaels, because, fuck, he had great attitude, man. He wasn't a goody two-shoes. And then when he came back, and he was the goody two-shoes, we were like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> I we the liked... guy that was Connie controversy. Yeah, we wanted the guy that was a dickhead. We wanted the guy that we heard all the crazy stories about. That's who the fuck we wanted. If you go on our wrestling news sites, you always click on the sites that are that are the behind the scenes drama. Because now you know it's staged, but you want to know who the asshole is. Who the guy I'm supposed to But hate. you know what? No, they hey, don't. The no, is. but no, people don't. People don't. People talk about they want the attitude error or they want I'm this. not saying the attitude error. Okay, error. but people say they want um they want the asshole, right? They don't. That guy that guy power bombed that girl 
Chris Dickinson powerbombed that girl, and everyone hated him for it. And it was like, dude, if you were a trained eye looking at it, you could tell it was a work. She's posting up. She's doing all this. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, They don't like it. Like, Eli's the asshole, and everyone hates I him. I love Eli. Hey. 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 Oh, hey, 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 hey. Don't put him over. Oh, don't That's be putting him over on my fucking... That's another podcast. No, no, what are you talking about? We got eight minutes. Oh, right. oh shit. So what's your... What's, what's, what are you going on the record for? I'll go on the record saying, look, what? Eli's oh, causing whoa. controversy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And isn't that what... Do you even know me? that guy? Don't even point your finger at me, dog. Yeah, right? He's getting all puffed yeah. out. He's puffing out his chest. Oh, hey, we don't have eight minutes. Our battery's dying. So what were you going to go on the record and say? Eli's causing controversy and people are talking. That's what really makes you, right? If you t if people are talking yeah. about you, yeah, that's what matters. So it, no matter what you're doing, so what you're saying he could is, be working everybody. Who knows? So what you're saying is, I hope he's working everybody. Hey, no, what I'm saying is, Eli has a perfect marketing plan because he had everyone talking about him and he had everyone worked. I that's what. So. Well, I don't know if he had the I perfect. Don't he, has, I don't, he. I don't know if he had the perfect marketing plan, but. You want everyone to talk about you, good, bad, or indifferent. You want people to, because it's like, you could be great, but if no one's talking about you, who cares? We were perfect examples coming from XPW. Right. Rob didn't oh, give a shit. Rob now we're bringing not, up, now we're no, bringing up Rob, the guys that invaded ECW. Oh, Rob did not oh, care. Hey. He did not care if you talked shit about him. He didn't care if you liked him. He didn't care if you went to, you were his biggest fan. You, As long as you talked about him, that's all that mattered, because you were talking about him. And whatever it causes. So... What were you, so what were you going on record to say again? I'm saying I love, I mean, what Eli's doing, whether he's working everybody, you know, I, I, I want to be a fan and just sit back and enjoy it. I think he's a troll and... What's I, wrong with being a troll? No, I didn't say anything was wrong with being a troll, fool. I said I think he's a troll and I think, uh, I was really mad when he fucking wrote K-Fave is alive and he fucking... Fucking broke yeah, the whole cake. That yeah. was bullshit. That's what I say. We all need to fucking go get a fucking rope and hang them for, man. You know whoa, what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what we all should have been out there about fucking pissed about. Do I mean he's he's he may be a troll in real life. He may be just working everybody. You know, and here's what I say to everybody. We're being entertained by it, right? No, you shouldn't be entertained by it. Because you should be working out in the gym. You should be fucking working harder than everybody else. And not paying mind to the Facebook drama. And you should fucking just keep your eye on the I, prize. Mongo? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah I, mean, I rarely go on Facebook. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, 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 you just said you love Eli. You don't even talk to him. Here's, here's how I can prove it. Here's how I can prove it. Other people told me about Eli, and I'm like, what's going on? And he are the only ones he's talking about. So people are asking me what's going on with Eli. Oh, it's okay. causing a stir. Good answer. Good answer. From the, the good answer from the vet. Oh. Good answer from the vet. Fucking guy. John's good. It's been good talking to you, man. I'm glad that we've been doing this for years, and we've never grabbed it. We always say it every time. Oh, we should grab it. And I don't know if this helped anybody out, but I really like to talk... The talk that we talked about Slammers and got to know it, because I, I myself, am a fan of it, and I'd like to get to know it and maybe get a little bit more in, in deeper conversation next time John and, 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 and Mongo are here and, and maybe even get some other Slammers, you know? So, um, I, I, Mongo. Hey, you any last words? Where can we find you at? Social media? Nope. Damn, what are you what? talking about? You're on Facebook, what fool! Facebook? Yeah, but you know, I have... When I do, I got. Ex I'm sorry. If you do add me as a friend, I haven't accepted you. It's just I probably go in there once a month. <laughs> well, I'm a private. I'm a very private person. How okay. come? I just feel like I should be. I it's a K baby me, right? I guess and so. And here we. Till this day. Till this day. What if What if I want to book you? Uh, you'll find a way. Come on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's dirty What's your phone number? If you What's your phone number? Get in contact with Joe, he'll get in contact with me. That's oh, I don't want to talk to nobody, <laughs> man. What are you talking about? All right, well, just go to SantinoBros.net. Uh, email info at SantinoBros.net to contact John if you guys are interested in booking the guy. He'll uh, wrestle a party. I rarely out. do it, though. He'll do oh. seminars, too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 So, all right, so that's our first attempt at uh, our talking with Angel because we've been talking about it for years and years and years. You finally got it. Yeah, and I just want to say, Chachi... Man, we're supposed to have your, your, your equipment here and do this professionally, but, you know. got to work with Yeah. Got. Hey, hey, this is what we got. So, until next time. We don't even know if there's going to be a next time. Yeah. So, I hope that you guys uh, got some information out of this and, and are able to uh, uh, take it on you. Take it with you or whatever. See you guys. SantinoBros.net. Late.